Good day. So, this is another graphing software na pwede natin gamitin. This is actually more powerful than Desmos. Mas madali lang gamitin yung Desmos kasi pwede mo na siyang agad i-run from the website. Tapos medyo mabilis siya mag-load. But if we are looking for more features, GeoGebra yung re-recommend ko kasi madami na siyang kayang gawin aside from the usual. So, run through lang natin yung usual yung ginawa natin sa Desmos by time of clock ng point. Pwede rin natin siyang labelan na A. Pwede, ano ba pang ginawa natin? Pwede rin tayong mag-graph ng isang equation. So, y squared equals x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x squared plus 1. Ayan. Meron tayong isang elliptic curve. But it doesn't matter now. Hindi naman natin siya i-discuss. But clearly, it's not a function kasi it will violate the vertical line test. Now, let's create a function similar dun sa ginawa natin dati. We have uh, x cubed minus 2x squared minus x plus no, 2. Yan. Again, pag cluttered yung screen, pwede natin itago. Or pwede natin i-right click tapos delete yung object. Wala nang x sa tabi. Pero itong three buttons, hindi naman yung option to delete. You could also create sliders. Mayroon ditong button na slider. If you click it, you could choose to kung sa ka slider. Pwede rin namang automatic na. Kung wala, hindi pa nagagamit yung variable na A, for example, pwede natin siyang i-type A. And then, f of a. So, what we're saying is, si variable a, siya yung x-coordinate, and si yung f of a, yun yung y-coordinate nung point natin. So, siya nagagawa nung slider, automatic. We have a point here that corresponds to the value of a, and ano man to evaluated at a. So, pag minove natin yung slider natin around, it will follow the function. So, kaya niyang gawin yung ginawa natin sa Desmos last time. Delete. 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 And delete. Yung isang magandang feature sa GeoGebra is yung kanyang geometry features. So, for example, you could use this to draw a polygon. It could be a regular polygon. Uh, hindi muna natin gagamitin yung region and vector. But let's say I don't want to draw a regular polygon. I want to draw something like trapezoid. So you can see medyo cluttered siya with all the labels. So option naman na hindi natin makita yung mga corner points. Hide natin sila. Oops. Let's hide the corner points. Pwede rin natin puntahan yung settings para yung label ng segment hindi natin nakikita. Yan na lang itanggalin natin. Let's keep the other line segments. Okay, so we could have geometric objects in the Cartesian plane using GeoGebra. One thing that we will use is itong geometric transformations. So, pakita ko lang mabilis. Pwede akong mag-plot ng point. So, instead of typing, I could just click on the Cartesian plane. So, click. And may point E, na-generate na siya dyan. Gusto kong gumawa ng line, I could click this button. And I could construct a line by connecting two points. Ayan, ganyan. Pwede ko itago yung mga points F and G. Oops. Kung ayaw ko naman silang makita. Okay. So, may mga feature to na geometric transformations. Like this one. This is reflect about line. So, may instructions sa baba kung anong gagawin. Select object to reflect. And then the line of reflection. So, let's say itong trapezoid gusto kong i-reflect sa line. I select it. And then I click on the line. At magkakaroon siya ng image dito na reflection 
nung figure natin yan. Okay, I don't like that. So, pwede kong tanggalin yung feature na nagkakos ng reflection, yung line. This one, delete. Mawala na rin yung result nung transformation na yun. Pwede rin natin gawin ay rotate about point. So, it's the same select object to the rotate and center point. So, object to rotate, ito yung ating center point and it gives us an option to type in the angle kung clockwise or counterclockwise. So, let's say gusto natin siyang i-rotate 30 degrees counterclockwise. Na ito yung centro, so lahat ng points iikot siya ng 30 degrees. There's a bunch of other things you can do dito sa GeoGebra. You can draw a circle. You could measure angles. So this feature measures angles. Ibalik natin yung mga points ng ating trapezoid. And they say you want to measure angle A. So you could click. Ano bang sabi? Select three points or two lines. So let's select three points. D, A, and B. Mayari. Kamali siya. Ang measure niyang angle, si B. So it again. So, measuring D, A, and B. Okay, it's measuring counterclockwise. So, 315 degrees yung measurement niya. Kung ayaw natin yan, ayaw natin isubtract sa TIG-60, pwedeng i-reverse natin yung order ng tatlong angles. Measuring at 45 degrees. So, marami siyang kayang gawin. That's just the surface. And there's a lot of features to explore. And we'll be doing that as well throughout the school year. So that's it for this lesson. Goodbye and thank class. And I'll see you in the next video.